While you were freaking out over more black holes, you probably missed wave-generated power, thousands of new BFI films, and fear and loathing in Las Vegas even more fearful. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where my fascination with all the different kinds of seahorses finally has a home. No, no it doesn't. Oh, never mind. The device extracts energy from both the heave and surge motions of the wave, producing power as a result of the relative motion between the hull and the float. America's first wave generator is now turning the motion of the ocean into electricity. The U.S. Navy and Oregon-based Northwest Energy Innovations teamed up to develop the 45-ton device called Azura. And because they're not idiots, they put it in Hawaii because free vacay. The prototype only generates 20 kilowatts, but the team hopes to boost the power output to one megawatt, enough energy for several hundred homes, all by 2017. Edinburgh Zone Parthenon, the Athens of the North. The British Film Institute is corralling thousands of unseen videos on its own site and just unleashed them to the world. Our so far favorite, a lone milkman delivery boy, winds his way through the streets of Edinburgh and suddenly he gets a little spooked. An oh my god dramatic squirrel? Nope. It's Sean Connery narrating and starring in a film promoting Edinburgh from the 80s. I left school at 13. All the street rats of the world can now take comfort that they will soon be film stars with hot accents too. But first, you'll need a little VPN trickery to watch the videos in the United States. In case that was too wholesome for you, have you seen this nightmarish scene from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? 1965, the great San Francisco acid wave. It has Google's artificial neural network code applied to it. Google's program is usually used to identify and categorize photos using a network of artificial neurons. However, a website called Deep Neural Net Dreams, and that just sounds wrong, got all freaky with it and used the code to ask the AI to distort the image using the neural network. The result is very unsettling. And in the Why Does This Work category, we give you J-pop and death metal. And I think that was plenty of weird stuff. See you tomorrow.